The Respect Belfast Human Rights Film Festival takes place in the city from the 3rd until the 8th of March. With me to discuss the festival is the director, Sean Murray. Sean, thanks very much for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Kim. And, and so just to begin, can you give us an idea of the festival itself? You know, what is this festival about? So the concept was drawn from uh, a programme that I had worked on uh, at the QFT in 2015. Uh, it was a, a programme that looked at uh, uh, political film, uh, exploring uh, conflict around the world and how film had addressed that both historically and in contemporary cinema. Uh, and what we'd done was that my role was to facilitate uh, events and talks and screenings around particular themes uh, within conflict and invite filmmakers from around the world uh, to the QFT, to Belfast, and address, give them a platform for their films and address uh, the multiple themes that, that, that uh, they had to discuss around their films. You must have found a success on some level then to sort of turn it into this film festival now. Well, the, the programme was very successful. It was a joint venture with Chapter Cinema in Cardiff and Watershed in Bristol, along with the QFT. Uh, and what, what I had noticed uh, when we had uh, you know, coordinated the programme was that when bringing local uh, film, local documentary, with a political context into the, the overall programme, that was very, very successful. In fact, local films, local documentaries that, that uh, looked at historical incidents within Ireland were, were very, very popular. They were probably the most popular that we, that we had run. For example, we brought the uh, great Irish director, George Morrison, uh, who was 94, up to Belfast. Uh, we had a, a Lord Mayor ceremony for him. He spoke at the QFT and we screened his uh, documentary, Saoirse. Of course, he also directed the, the iconic film, uh, Misha Era, which looks at the events around 1916, uh, which was a great success. Uh, and most of those uh, films that were based on uh, you know, lo local, local uh, culture, political culture, were very, very successful, and in most cases actually sold out. But internationally, we, we looked at, at other films also. We addressed documentaries that looked at the, 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 the Somme, uh, looked at World War I, and, and uh, in contemporary cinema, we looked at uh, other films in, for the likes of uh, Restrepo, which looks at the, the American army in Afghanistan. But it wasn't just about uh, screening the films, letting people see the films and go home. What we've done, we had Skypes uh, with the directors in, in the US and around the world. I also had a, a, a US Army uh, veteran who spoke uh, from Chicago via, uh, via Skype uh, and spoke to us about how it felt to you know, be on the front line in Afghanistan. So we, we, we had multiple perspectives and I think the audience appreciated it and that reflected in, in the overall uh, attendance around the festival. With the film festival now, with respect, you know, coming up, um, it, it does have a, that international focus as well. But you know, when we talk about this idea of human rights, it, it is a kind of broad term. So, what, what would you say are some of the kind of themes that you're seeing sort of come come through you know, with the submissions and so on that you're receiving for it? The biggest thing that I've seen right away would be asylum and, and immigration. That's a major theme around the festival. We noticed that with submissions coming in, uh, but also we're looking at workers' rights. Austerity is also a big one. Uh, women's rights, of course. The the uh, Wednesday, the eighth of March, is International Women's Day. We'll be running a, a short programme that's dedicated to women's rights. And our final uh, screening is dedicated to uh, a film called Prison Sisters. It's dedicated to uh, the role of, of, of two women who were jailed in Afghanistan. So, I mean, I've seen the film already. It's a beautiful film. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting a great, a great audience for the ending of the festival. And on that, I mean, when we talk about the submissions, um, was there anything in particular that you sent out that, that you were looking for when you sort of sent you know, that, that, that out there? Or, I mean, and, and from that there, I mean, what was the response like then? Because, you know, was it a fairly open, a fairly open process? And, and, and from that there, you know, what kind of response did you see? The only template we, we had to go on was the, obviously, the running of the, the programme in 2015. But, I mean, everything was new in the sense that we were, uh, what was different about it was that we were sending, uh, via Film Freeway, we were sending submissions out to anyone around the world. Uh, we give a, a, a short paragraph of what we, we, we needed. Uh, we needed films that were dedicated to women's rights, disability rights, environmental concerns, a, a multitude of, of human rights issues. And we were overwhelmed and what came back, over 200 and 50 uh, submissions in the end came towards us, more than we could, could handle actually, and we had to cut the process down to around 100 films, which we will be screening over five days. Are you going to continue that tradition of the sort of the panel discussions of having sort of contributions from the directors and the filmmakers and so on? Is that something that's important to have included in this film festival? Oh, oh, most definitely. Um, so the, the opening day of the festival, uh, we are, are screening a film called A Snake Gives Birth to a Snake, uh, and it's a film directed by uh, a man called Michael Lessig, a director called Michael Lessig from New York who's a well-known uh, US director. 
That film looks at transitional justice issues in South Africa and here in Ireland. So what we have is we have uh, an ex-British paratrooper, uh, Glenn Bradley, uh, involved in the panel discussion, along with uh, an ex-IRA uh, prisoner. And, and what kind of locally produced films might we see as part of the festival? Well, we have various locally produced films uh, from as far away as, as, as Cork, uh, and that's right across. We have drama, short dramas, short documentaries, uh, looking at issues of local political issues, as well as issues of mental health, uh, disability issues. So it, it doesn't, it's not, you know, pinpointing to one uh, general area. And when you think of, uh, of local filmmakers and, and you know, that, that would be screening the human rights film festivals, you ultimately think that, that there has to be a political context, that, but that's, that's not so. I've seen various films that, that are being screened are, are you know, are not uh, looking at that particular theme. And you yourself uh, are a filmmaker and you're also you know, doing your PhD on this issue, the, the use of documentary and, and dealing with sort of conflict and post-conflict trauma. So you, you must have a kind of particular insight yourself into the importance, the important role that documentary, that film plays when we, start, when we deal with, when we address some of these issues. Well, too, yeah, my, my own research looks at the, uh, the role of documentary film in regards to post-conflict trauma. So hi. High number of activist filmmakers and I are beginning to address issues which you know mainstream television uh, sort of don't look at, don't address, uh, refuse to look at. Uh, so <clears throat> it's that kind of, of study that has obviously garnered my thoughts into to, to running this festival. And of course, I think it's something that we need. Uh, we are in a post-conflict society. We're in a period of transitional justice, and you know when I had looked, when I had first got the the, the concept of the festival. Uh, I look around and there is no, there is no uh, dedicated human rights film festival in Ireland as far as I had seen, so it's definitely something that we need, particularly in Belfast.